Yeah, Coach, um, day three, how did things go for you today? It was good. It was good to see some guys. You know, guys are starting to separate themselves in terms of being able to push through things, starting to add up, installs. What we're asking, we're throwing a lot at them. We're trying to challenge them. We're trying to see who emerges. Uh, but there's really good competition going on. It was, it was fun to see today. These guys are competing. Uh, the receiver you all had yesterday from Missouri, uh, why did you get another receiver? Yeah. Got Brad's box. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but that went down with, with a, a minor, minor, you almost got me, d -like, minor lower body injury. And we just, and it's an opportunity. And the other, you know, guys, the one thing that, um, as you're working through protocols, you, you get roster flexibility. And so we got spots. And it's a great opportunity for other guys to come in here and compete. Get us get a look at them. How are you going with Matt? Uh, you know, y'all got a bond here. Yeah. Started over the off season, but sure. now you're seeing some stuff, calling some stuff out here. Uh, How's that coming with yeah, that, that relationship? The, the, your relationship really you know, comes together as you're going through it, through preseason, as the days starting adding up. He's been great. It's, uh, it's so much fun working with Matt. And as we get down here and challenging him, and, uh, and that's what's fun. These guys are really fighting out here in, in, in a positive way. George. I wanted to go back to something you were talking about yesterday about Eric and Zeron and how important they are. I was hoping for some examples of, of what you see from them that kind of separates their leadership into what y'all are doing. Well, first off, it's the way they handle themselves in the building, how they prepare for practice. I mean, those are the guys you want the young guys to learn from. And that's, that's powerful. They've been through it. They're out here, uh, they can still play. You know, sometimes if you add guys that, that can't play, you know, just a, a name or, you know, some kind of, you know, friends and family discount, you know, guys start to tune them out. And these guys can still play, they communicate well, and they help, they're great teammates. You know, they're not trying to, yeah, no, no, I'm just saying, so what you hear is, is they're authentic and you see Eric and Duran, they're competitive, they're fighting for jobs. And they're also out, out helping these young guys out. Passes, a lot of hands on balls yeah. in the secondary today. What did you kind of just see from that group? You know, it's every day. They're caught, you know, De Dean's uh, throwing a lot at them, and, and Hoke's challenging them, and these guys, are, they're competitive, and they're, they're, their confidence hopefully is building, and we're trying to make it hard for them, but it was good to see. Michael. What's up, Where? How are you? What is, uh, what is the chaos really feel like brought early on? You know, you didn't do this maybe flash as much today, but it's going to be the first few days. He was so I, I didn't hear Oh, Zacchaeus. What, what do you feel like he's really brought <coughs> early on as maybe a guy that you're going to use a little bit more? Well, he's very dependable, and he, and he does a good job in, in everything we ask him to do. Obviously, as a receiver, you've got to be able to get open and, and catch the ball, which is the minimum job description. But all the stuff, again, we put a lot, of, a lot on his plate. He can handle it. He's a smart, dependable football player, and he can play multiple roles. Those guys are valuable. He can play different positions on the fly, sub in go out there and he's out there trying to compete to get a starting spot and that's what you want but he's dependable that's what he's shown so far Coach, what you kind of seen from the running back core especially from pass catch with mike davis and Kadri allison and then i've got a follow-up for country sure those guys same thing good competition uh you know mike's proven route runner he's got good hands he's another smart football player and he's out there fighting you got cp back there q's doing a good job um so, like I said, I'm, I'm happy where the competition's at right now. And going back to him, what did you see out of him in terms of just him getting a few more reps and kind of your assessment of him so far? Yeah, he's earning those reps. He's going on everything we've asked him to do so far. Again, we're, there's, we got such a long ways to go. As we're throwing at him, you know, you add a little third down in. Okay, who's, who can go in there and actually protect the quarterback? And, uh, again, Q's doing a good job. George, what you uh, guys decided to keep Matt? I don't know if that's even the right way to put it. But um, how, how soon in your time here in the building did you say, this is our guy, we're, we're moving forward with him? Well, when you, when you first get here and, and, and you get the privilege to, to the opportunity to get one of these jobs, and Terry and I, we look through the roster, you try to be very objective. And there's a lot of different circumstances, a lot of variables, right? How do you make decisions? Certainly, there's, you got to take the whole picture, where everybody fits in contractually, where they're at in the career, and ultimately, can they still play? And Matt's still playing at a high level. And so, obviously, all decisions were, were on the – I mean, everything was open, going through the draft to make sure you're thorough. You don't want to just close things off and make a decision in February and then, you know, miss an opportunity that may come in late April. Uh, but it was pretty quick. You know, I reached out to those guys. We knew uh, – I wanted to get to know him. I mean, we obviously had a lot of mutual uh, friends, guys that had coached him or played with him. And so it was pretty early on. He, uh, he 
he's clearly uh, shown you that he has uh, got all, not just the playing traits, but the leadership traits. He's the same guy he's been here for 14 years. Yes. Well, I wouldn't say, yeah, at his core. You hope like like this. I hope I'm a better coach tomorrow than I was today, and we hope Matt's a better player. You know, physically at this point in his career, things you know, there's you reach a point where you can still improve. Maybe mentally, you know, obviously we're, we're asking him to do a couple different things, um, but he's coachable. And, and for a guy like there's no entitlement with Matt Ryan. Comes out here, works, gets better, and uh, that's all you could ask for. A guy, especially has accomplished as much as he has. About, coaches and players talk a lot about new terminology. What, what are some of the wrinkles he's had to learn? I don't get, I don't get into the schemes. Um, but again, I mean, you know, sometimes that's, uh, that's overrated, right? The guy, guy run, a, run a route, you know, 100 routes in his career. You, what do you, you know, call it a curl or a hook, right? Six half dozen the other. And they, they do have something they can, they can lean back on. I have run this route before. We're just calling it this. So. That's all it is. I mean, you just want to get past the point when you're putting new terminologies, a new language, past the memorization point. Michael? Yeah, you had the entire offense around the lap yeah. fairly early on there. You're saying hi to the fans. <laughs> I'm going to think that that one was great. Fastly said, hey, look, it'd be nice <laughs> if they come over here and wave. It was great. They got the clap for them. They were just, they were just trying to get back to the fans. <laughs> <laughs> so why did the defense do it, though? Because, you know, I looked at their GPS numbers yesterday and I thought they ran too much. So I said, the offense, it's your turn to go there. Make sure you welcome the fans. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, I mean, is that something like, does that send a message when you have an entire unit run? I don't know if it's, you know, the, the point of it is, is you just try to find creative and stimulate ways to try to be, you know, disciplined so you can change things up at the line. So, yeah, there's a lot, a lot to it. I mean, it's. I mean, people do it in peewee football. Same, you know, a lot of the same things still work in the NFL if you got the right guys. Allison on your right. Hey. I, hey, I, uh, I know you haven't had as much time to work with Matt Ryan personally, but you've evaluated a lot of the tapes. Uh, tape. So at this point in his career, where do you think he needs to elevate the game and show stuff? Well, we've been working a lot of the, like, the speed option zone read with him. I'm hoping Matt can get faster. Um, so that's a big point of emphasis. We all, in, in all seriousness, no, it's just. Obviously, he and I are getting on the same page, right? He's got a lot of reps in the NFL and things we're asking him to do. And we're constantly trying to push, push things, seeing, hey, can we tweak this? This is a better way to do it. And you got to have the right guy to be able to do that. It's not so just fixed. And, and that's a credit to Matt. And, but we would like him to get a little faster. And, uh, and how do you do that? Do you make him run more? Or? Yeah, we'll get him in. in uh, Stahl's got him in a, in, a, in a speed development program. Yeah, always the right way. I mean, you don't want to see fights. I mean, because the problem is, I mean, we don't want that fake, tough bravado, and, and it hurts the team. You know, guys, you take a uh, take a swing at somebody in the game, you're out of. I mean, we don't want to do things that hurt the team. So, you got to, you know, to a certain point, nothing, nothing stupid. Anything else? All right, appreciate you guys. Thank you.